Hello. Welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to create clothes on animated characters easily. We learned before how to make clothes with cloth simulation. We gonna use cloth sculpting technique in this tutorial. Before starting the tutorial, I want to tell you about this video sponsor Wingfox and this awesome course on this platform. In this course, you will learn the entire workflow to create Stylized Warrior in Blender. You will find many knowledge and technique about character sculpting. This course is suitable for anyone who wants to learn sculpting techniques and create 3D sculpted models. In the chapter 1, you will learn sculpting fundamentals in Blender such as the brush configurations, sculpting methods, and much more. In the next chapter, you will be going to analyze the character's anatomy and start blocking the body and accessories. After that, you will be going to polish the character's body and accessories and detail the character. Lastly, you will be going to rig the character, configure a scene with lights and materials. So, if you are interested, you can get this awesome course from the link in the video description. You will also get extra discount using the coupon code in the video description. We have such an animated character. I will share the download link in the video description. We want to make a t-shirt on the character and we want that deformed by the character armature. First of all, select the armature, go to Object Data Properties tab, switch to Rest Position. Press H key and hide the armature in the viewport. Select the character and switch to edit mode. We want to make the t-shirt out of the character mesh. That's why, the mesh topology should consist of smooth quad polygons. So, we can sculpt the cloth easily and smoothly. This character mesh has almost nice quad topology. If your character don't have nice topology, you can retopology the character mesh. I want to make a tutorial about remesh and retopology workflows later on. Let's select this loop cut. Press Alt-Z to switch to X-Ray mode. Press C key to activate the circle selection. You can scale the selection circle by scrolling up or down the mouse wheel. Let's select these vertices. Press Alt-Z and switch back to solid mode. Press Shift-D, then Enter key to duplicate the selection. In the left panel, choose the Shrink Fatten tool. Hold the yellow handle and drag it up slightly. As you can see, the duplicated vertices have sticked out the mesh. This is our T-shirt base mesh. We gonna subdivide the base mesh and add some details in sculpting mode. But, it's still not a separated mesh. When we switch to object mode, we cannot select the meshes separately. In order to separate the meshes, go back to edit mode with the duplicated geometry selected, press P key and click on the selection. When we go back to object mode, we can select the objects separately now. Rename the base mesh as T-shirt. Let's assign new material for T-shirt. Press Z key and switch to material preview mode. Click on the material properties tab. As you can see, it uses the same material with the skin color. Two users share this material. In order to assign different material to T-shirt, click on the two. So, it will be independent material. Rename the new material as T-shirt and change the base color. Press Z key and switch back to solid mode again. We can also give different color for viewport. Scroll down to viewport section and choose the any color you want. We have created a simple t-shirt. The best thing, we don't need to set parent the armature to t-shirt. We have also copied all mesh datas and modifiers from the character mesh. We can see the armature modifier when we click on the modifier tab. It means, T-shirt will be deformed by the existing armature. Let's unhide the armature in the viewport again. Select the armature and click on the Object Data tab. 
switch to pose position and play the animation. There we go. Switch to rest position again and hide the armature in the viewport. It's time to add some details to t-shirt and sculpt mode. Before sculpting, we need to subdivide the base mesh enough. We need a high poly and quite dense mesh. I want to add multi-resolution modifier instead of the subdivision surface modifier. So, we can go back to any subdivision level and sculpt the mesh at any level. Multi-res modifier is very very useful and convenient for sculpting works. Also, we can bake the normal map from multi-res modifier. Select the t-shirt, click on the modifier tab and add multi-resolution modifier. Disable the optimal display option. Go to viewport overlays menu and enable the wireframe option. Click on the subdivide button and subdivide the mesh four times. It looks quite high poly mesh now. Go to viewport overlays menu and disable the wireframe option again. We can also delete the vertices under the t-shirt. We will not see them anyway. This will allow us to work with less geometry during animation. Select the character mesh and switch to edit mode. Press Alt-Z to switch to X-ray mode. Press C key to activate circle selection and select the vertices under the t-shirt. Press delete key and delete the selected vertices. Go back to object mode again. We are ready for sculpting now. Select the t-shirt and switch to sculpt mode. We can select the any brush in the left panel. Firstly, let's sculpt the neck. Select the clay strips brush. Set the brush strength value all the way up to 1. Go to stroke menu and set the stroke spacing value to 25%. Enable the X symmetry option. So, we can work symmetrical on the x-axis. Press numpad 1 to switch to front view. Press F key and scale down the brush size a little bit. Put the cursor just in the middle, hold down left click and drag the mouse. Press Ctrl numpad 1 and switch to back view. Sculpt the back side in the same way. Press numpad 3 to switch to side view. Sculpt the side also. Click on the minus icon and switch the direction of the brush. Switch the stroke method to line also. Let's sculpt the sleeves in the same way. Select the inflate brush and apply so that the t-shirt stick out. Select the crease brush. Set the brush size to 7 and set the brush strength to 1. Switch the stroke method to line. Hold down left click and draw a line. In the same way, sculpt the shoulders of the t-shirt. Let's add some folds and wrinkles on the t-shirt. We gonna use cloth brush for this. Select the cloth brush in the left panel. Press N key and open the right panel. Click on the tool tab. We can access the active brush settings here. Press F key and scale up the brush size. We can also change the cloth mass. If we set the cloth mass to lower value, we can deform the mesh easier. Set the cloth mass to 
deformation type will be drag. The best thing, we can sculpt the mesh at any subdivision level. Let's go to Multi-Res modifier and set the number of subdivision to 2 in the sculpt mode. Let's apply the cloth brush on the mesh. There we go. If we go back to subdivision level 4, we can see the wrinkles better at high resolution. That's super super cool feature of Multi-Res modifier. Let's go back to level 2 and sculpt the shoulders in the same way. If you want to smooth out the cloth, you can select the smooth brush and apply on the cloth. Let's switch the deformation type to pinch point. Set the number of subdivision to 3 and apply the brush on the sleeve. Let's sculpt the backside of the t-shirt in the same way. We can use grab brush if t-shirt goes under the pant. Let's go back to level 4 in the sculpt mode. We have done with sculpting. Let's switch back to object mode. We can give some thickness to t-shirt. To do that, go to modifier tab and add solidify modifier. Increase the thickness value enough. We can also check the only rim option. So, we will have less vertices number. We won't see inside the mesh anyway. Alright. Let's play the animation again. As you can see, it plays very slowly. Because, T-shirt has very high polygon number. We need to decrease the vertex number. Go to Multi-Res modifier and decrease the subdivision level in the viewport. Play the animation again. As you can see, the character plays faster now. However, we have lost the details on the T-shirt. In this case, we need to bake normal map from high poly mesh and apply the normal map to low poly mesh. There is very easy and practical method to bake normal map with multi-res modifier. This is the one of the best features of the multi-res modifier. Let's switch to rest pose. Firstly, we need to unwrap the UV map. With the T-shirt selected, click on the UV editing workspace. Let's select these edges. Go to Edge menu and mark seam. Hit the A key and select all vertices. Go to UV menu and click on the unwrap. Let's edit the UV islands so that not overlap each other. Click on the shading workspace. On the shader editor, press Shift A and add an image texture. Click on the new button and add a new image. 
rename the image as normal map. Set the resolution to 4096 pixel. Click on the OK. Switch the color space to non-color. In the image editor, choose the normal map image we have just created. Click on the modifier tab and set the number of subdivision to zero in the viewport. Also, disable the solidify modifier in the viewport for now. Otherwise, we will get error during the baking. We gonna enable the solidify modifier again after baking. Click on the render properties tab. Be sure that Cycles is Active Render Engine. Scroll down the Bake section. Enable the Bake from Multi-Res option. Bake type will be Normals. After that, click on the Bake button. In the Image Editor window, we can see the Normal Map image. Let's plug the Normal Map to Principal Shader. On the Shader Editor, let's add a Normal Map Vector. Plug the color node to color node and normal to normal node. That's it. We can see the details on the low poly mesh now. We can increase the normal map strength. So, we can see the details better. We can also play the animation smoothly and fastly. Don't forget to enable Solidify modifier. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.